how do you feel towards people around you? Do you feel what the Isha Vasti Upanishad calls as Vijugupsa, uh, revulsion, repulsion, hatred towards people? Every other person is a competitor to be shirked, to be kept away. If that's what you feel, then the service-mindedness will not come. But if you feel one with the person, like you do with your children, every little thing is thought of, looked after, done, before even the child knows that it needs it. Right? How do you think of it? How do you become so creative? How is it that you are quick to serve your own child because you feel one with the child? But unfortunately, that oneness ends there. It doesn't spread. It doesn't spread to even your nieces and nephews. Nobody. And at the other end of the spectrum is where the Gita Upanishads speak of the test of self-development, which is feeling one with the whole world. You, the 12th chapter of the Gita says, a bhakta, a devotee of God, is one who does not hate any being, not just human being, any human, any living being. That's a tough test. Throughout the scriptures, in the sixth chapter, he beautifully evolves the line of thinking in such a way. He gives the test of development, verses 29 to 32. In 29, he puts it very theoretically, very clinically, and says, one who sees himself in all beings, and all beings in the self, is a person who is evolved. In the next verse, it becomes more personal. He says, one who sees me in all beings, means you see yourself in all beings. It's not a theoretical thing. It is your own experience. Just as you see yourself in your child, you see yourself in all beings. Mahatma Gandhi actually practiced that. When he came across a lady who did not have a change of clothes, he took a vow there and then that he will not wear clothes until every Indian is clothed. This sense of oneness is not there at all. We are completely alienated from the rest of the country, from the rest of humanity. Once you feel one, just a feeling, you don't have to do anything about it. Just feel. The rewards are great. The rewards are, first of all, you succeed in life. The moment you feel one with others, they return the courtesy and together you work as one team and achieve your objective effortlessly. In corporate circles, in modern corporate circles, they haven't even tapped into this power of oneness. You become happy. How can you be unhappy or insecure when you enjoy the triumphs of your opponent as if it were yours? And most importantly, you grow spiritually. Your desires drop. Because then it's no longer about me. It's about us. If you feel one with all Indians, if any Indian anywhere in the world does well, you feel as if the triumph is yours. You celebrate. This is the secret behind the World Cup, you know. If the Indian team wins, a billion people will celebrate. Actually, it's a victory of only 11 people. So you evolve spiritually. Nar Narayan Murthy of Infosys has actually made a statement that if you place the public good above your own personal private good, eventually, your private good will also get enhanced. But if you put your private good at the expense of public good, both will go down, as we see. 